I think yeah. we're talking about everybody's light in this room. Yes. yes. Because we need everybody's light. How you doing? How you doing? So when we sing this little light of mine, you answer with, I'm going to let it shine. And let it shine when you sing that line. Let's try it again. This little light of mine, light of mine. Well, I'm, I'm going to let it shine. shine. Oh, this little light of mine. Come on, yeah. this is the light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Welcome to the Performing Arts Series brought to you by the Kennedy Center and Prince William Network. The group here, we are sweet honey in the rock. Sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> yes? All right. <laughs> we are from Washington, D.C., and the group was formed back in 1973. We're an a cappella group, and we have a vast repertoire that includes music from all walks of life the blues, spirituals, gospel hymns, traditional gospel. We have some rap and we have a little bit of hip hop for you. That's right. So what makes this group unique is that with our individual voices and our individual sounds and talents and creativity, we come together to bring one collective sound. We use our voices to capture these sounds. And during the program, we're going to explore the voice and some of the ways it can be used as an instrument, not only to teach, but also to inspire and to encourage the spirit. So we hope that the songs that you sing with us today will inspire you. You know, you never quite know when inspiration has occurred or where inspiration comes from. But there are a number of people throughout history who have been very creative, very inventive, and who have created things that we now rely on. But this next song says, do what the spirit say do. And when it says that, it means if you get a little voice saying, wow, that's a great idea. Let me write it down so I won't forget it because I might write a song based on that or I might write a book based on the story I just heard or something just happened in my life that I think other people might be interested in. If you get that kind of inspiration, follow it. Now, sometimes you'll come up with an idea or something that you decide you're going to try to do and you'll discover someone's already done it first. Well, we've been around on this planet for a long time, <laughs> so that's not unusual. But your job is to do it better. Take it to the next level. Go someplace with it that no one has ever been before. Do what the spirit say do. Ready? 
Children, I'm going to do what the Spirit say do. do I'm going to do what the Spirit say do. do I'm going to do what the Spirit say do, my Lord. Oh, oh, obey the Spirit of the Lord. I'm, I'm going to walk when the Spirit say walk. I'm going to walk when the Spirit say walk. I'm going to walk like John walked into Jerusalem. and walk all around the town. And then I'm going to shout when the Spirit say shout. Shout, 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 well, shout when the Spirit say shout. I'm going to shout like the children at the battle of Jericho. Shout till the walls come down. Do and the then I'm going to sing when the Spirit say sing. Oh, I'm going to sing when the Spirit say sing. sing. Children, like the Paul Robson and Aretha Franklin. Say yeah, 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 yeah. You want the Spirit say right when the Spirit say right. Take your bounds and right when the Spirit say right. Children, like the August Wilson and Zora Neale Hurston. Going to sit down and write about life. Then I'm going to speak. When the spirit say speak, speak. Oh, I'm gonna speak. speak. When the spirit you say speak, speak. like you Martin speak. Luther King and Barack Obama, you I'm gonna speak out loud and clear. Then I'm gonna dance when the spirit say dance, dance, dance. When the spirit say dance, like Judas, James, Elvis Presley, 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 Elvis
The sign language interpreter is not used to wearing a microphone. That's for the singers who use their voice. The sign language interpreter, me, my name sign is Shirley. I use my hands to communicate. And I think we have a few deaf people here, deaf and hard of hearing here in the audience today. That's great. Great. Welcome. I use American Sign Language how? The reason why is because my parents were deaf and they taught me and my two sisters how to communicate with them, my mom and dad, Herbert and Thomasina. They taught their children, three of us, how to sign. Let me show you one thing in the deaf community, how we applaud. We clap? No. In the deaf community, we communicate using our hands. So we raise them in the air. Come on, everybody, raise them in the air. Ooh, beautiful. That's how we applaud. Another idea I'd like to share with you is we learned a chant from Dr. Isai Barnwell, whose name sign is, and the reason why, because her, the letter of her first name is Y, and she's a singer, so we combine them and we do this. My name sign is Shirley, the letter S on his cheek. So Dr. Isai Barnwell taught us a chant, a kind of soft song, meditative and respect from the Ituri rainforest. And I thought, hmm, a chant. Usually we use our voice to chant. And I thought, how can we translate that to sign language? And she explains that in the Ituri rainforest, let's sign rain, rain. Let's all sign rain, great, great. And breath, a chant we use our breath. That the people who live in the Ituri rainforest respect the land, let's do land, land. That the people who live there respect the wind, beautiful, beautiful. So we have breath. Do it softly. This is a chant, remember? It's respectful. The rain, the wind, the wind blowing in our faces. Ooh. And we combine them all, our breath. I'm not going to say anything. I just ask you just to follow me in sign language. We all are connected. We're all connected. Thank you. Thank you. I'm a Ibu, oh, yeah. 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 I'm a Ibu, oh, so that is the chant when it's sung. And with Shirley, that is the chant when it's signed. We'd like for you to join us in singing this chant, but I'd like to tell you what's special about it first. When I first heard it, I thought it was the most amazing thing I'd ever heard because there were all kinds of melodies that I heard that no one was actually singing. Those melodies came from how all of the parts fit together. And when the parts didn't fit together, those melodies were not really audible. So I'd like you to have the experience of singing this chant and understanding that it comes from a group of people called the Mbuti people who live in the Atari, Atari rainforest and who understand that they have a relationship with nature. They have a, rela a relationship with the rainforest. In fact, in their way of thinking and believing, the rainforest is God. That means they live inside of God. And you know, sometimes I think, wow, if we understood that or felt that way as well, 
we wouldn't mess up God. We'd be a lot cleaner. We'd pick up our litter. We'd take all of our stuff with us when we got ready to leave one place and go to another place. And in fact, when the Mbuti leave and go from one place to another, there is no sign of where they have been. They are that respectful of nature. Okay, so we're going to do this chant together. Here are the syllables. Ama ibu oyei. Ama ibu oyei. Yeah, have fun, play. Ama ibu oyei. Ama ibu oyei. Ama ibu oyei. Ama ibu oyei. Okay, now that second one is a little different from the first one. The first one is Amai. That's great. And the second one is Amai. Right. So the first is Amai boo And the second is Amai boo Can we do them together? Here we go. Amai boo Amai boo Amai boo not bad at all. Okay. So this section over here is going to be group one. This section is group two. This section is group three. And this section is group four. And you'll have a member of Sweet Honey standing and singing with you. We're going to start now. Here we go. Amaibu Beautiful, really beautiful. You might have some vocalists in here. Speaking of which, how many of you have thought about what you want to be when you grow up? That's great. Who, some, who can raise your hand and shout it out what you want to be? Right over here. Yeah, right there. Photographer, great, give her a hand. How about someone right in the middle here? Anyone here? Right there in the gray? With the glasses, yeah? A pediatrician, that's great. Give her a hand. <laughs> One more over here. On this side. Anybody on this side? What do you want to be? Music producer, all right. That's We're great. Looking for you. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> now, the count of three, I want all of you who know what you want to be to shout it out with conviction and feeling. One, two, three. <laughs> That's how you do that, with feeling and conviction. And you know that if you do that every day, quietly to yourself while you're meditating, speaking it out to your friends and your family who you trust with your hopes and your dreams, and just speaking it out to the universe and seeing it in your mind happen, it will come true. Yeah. Your dreams and vision of what you want to be will come true. Now, this next song I wrote because I was thinking about what actually the world needs now? And I thought about the condition that we're in with all the greed and all the health problems and health care problems and financial problems and unbalanced problems that we have. I thought, um, well, I think the thing that we mostly need right now is healers in the world, people who are really want to be doctors of healing. I'm not just talking about the ones who want to 
look at the patient for a little while and prescribe some drugs and run off to the golf course and make a lot of money. But people who are really interested in healing the individual, looking at the person, trying to figure out why they're sick and putting in, in, in place motions to erase that, to totally heal that problem. Healers. And I wrote this song that has these lyrics for the first verse. It says, when I grow up and I'm free, I want to be a righteous healer. I'll stand for truth. I'll teach the youth, care for the baby and the elder. And from the earth will come the birth of all my herbs and healing potions. And every day my soul will pray that love will be my whole devotion. And I'll walk it every day. My Lord, I pray. When I grow up and I am free, I want to be a righteous healer. I'll stand for truth and teach the youth, care for the baby and the elder. And from the earth will come the birth of all my herbs and healing potions. And every day, my Lord, I pray that love will be my soul devotion. And I'll walk it every day, my Lord, I pray. When I grow up, I want to be free like the wind, strong like a tree, high like a cloud, deep like the sea. When I grow up, that's how I'll be. And I'll command a ship one day, a starship, and fly away with soar to places most will never see. Places most will never see. We'll fly around the world and back, protect the earth from all attack of hatred, greed, fear, war, and poverty. And as we all will know no fear, we know the Lord of life is near, we'll fly beyond the farthest galaxy. Highest knowledge will bring back ah, and heal the world to every lack of peaceful paradise. Ah, our world will be paradise. Our world will be when I grow up. I want to be free like the wind, strong like a tree, high like a cloud, deep like the sea. When I grow up, that's how I'll be. And I'll command a ship one day, a starship, and fly away with swords of grace. See. We'll fly around the world and back ah, Protect the earth from all the attack of hatred, greed, fear, war, and poverty. And, poverty and as we roll with no, no fear We'll know the Lord of life is near We'll fly beyond the farthest galaxy Highest knowledge we'll bring back And he will world of every lack of peace When I grow up, I, grow and I, up free, I want to be I a righteous healer. I'll stand for free like the wind, wind. Like for the baby like and the tree. elder. And from the high earth, I'll like come the bird of all my herbs and healing potions. And every day, I my Lord, I pray that love will be my soul and devotion. And I'll walk it every day, my Lord, I pray.
growing up, um, talking about things you want to do or what you want to be when you grow up. Um, in my lifetime, I always wanted to be an actress and a singer. And growing up, there were a lot of people that said, oh, girl, you can't sing. Or they would tease me and say, yeah, get her to do it. She thinks she can sing. Or let her read that piece because she thinks she's an actress. Well, I did tell my friends. I told everyone. I never stopped saying it. And I know that I'm blessed today to be on this stage, to be able to perform for you, to be with Sweet Honey in the Rock. So keep your dreams alive, no matter what anyone ever says to you. Let them know that you know what you're supposed to be about, and you're going to pursue that for the rest of your life. Is that a commitment? Y'all do that? Five people will do it? How many people are really going to do that? Let me hear you. Yes. Yes. All right. And another thing, Maylard, sometimes people will tell you, oh, you can't do such and such. Yeah. Whenever they tell you that, you work 10 times harder That's to right. prove them wrong. That's right. Right. Yes, right. It's okay. So this next song that we're going to do talks about some of those lessons that you learn as you're growing up. I got a question for you. Is there anybody here who thinks that they know more than their parents? Tell the truth. You think you really know more about <laughs> life than your parents. Tell the truth. <laughs> All right, this is your own truth, OK? Even some of the grown folks are raising up their hands. <laughs> so what about some of you who may think that you know more, more than your teachers? <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> All right, now here's another question for you. How many of you absolutely know you absolutely know more than your best friend? <laughs> Woo! Yes, it's like that sometimes. Well, this next song brings some of those lessons that you are learning as you're growing up, like respecting your elders and being positive when um, a situation may be challenging towards you, thinking good thoughts, being grateful for all your blessings. And also that you don't always have to be number one. Sometimes it's just good to do the thing to find out what the end goal is going to be. That's where your lesson truly will lie. It's the little things you do for someone else. It's the kindness that you show without being asked, never looking for rewards for being nice. These are some things for you to know as you grow. It's the little things you do for someone else and the kindness that you show without being asked. Never looking for rewards for being nice. These are some things for you to know as you grow. Some simple things in life to life as you grow. Now you don't always have to win. We'll be number one. Play the game that is fun. That's wonderful as the God. These are some things for you to know as you grow. So simple things in life to life as you grow. There are some who have a little more than you. There are some who have a lot less. What you possess can measure what you are worth. These are some things for you to know. As you grow, as you're growing up, a positive balance when you have to face a challenge can only make you strong. Hold on, you'll pass the test, you'll make the grade, so don't forget. You're a child of God, honor yourself, be brave, humble and true. Listen to your inner voice, it's always there for you, for you. Respect your elders, they deserve that from you. Much from you, watch every little thing. They look up for how you want to be treated yourself. These are some things for you to know as you grow. Some things in life to life. As you 
Put your hands in the air if you go to school for a living. <laughs> Five days a week. <laughs> and you are living in a most important time. You are very fortunate to be young people at this time. When we have a new administration in this country and a lot of changes going on in this world. And you go to school to learn about a lot of things, a lot of things that are going on in the world. But you also go to school so that you are able to share some of the things that come natural to you. Mm. We have very natural tendencies. Some of us like to sing. Some of us like sports. Some of us love to read. Some of us love to study astrology or astronomy, different things. And it's very important with all these things, not only that you share them with other people, you don't keep them to yourself or hold back, but that you accept that you may like and know more than one thing. Mm -hmm. Now, the name of this song is called Education is the Key. At the end of the song, we're going to spell the word education out. So we're going to do it in two parts. One part will be spelling the word education, and the other part is going to tell that group to say it again. So we're going to split the room in half. This side will be say it again. This side will spell out the word education. Watch me. This is how you're going to spell it. <laughs> E-D-U to the C-A-T and to the I-O-N. That's your part. E-D-U to the C-A-T and to the I-O-N. Come on now. Come on. E -D yeah, but that's weak. <laughs> now this half, put some energy in there, some strength. Here we go. Ed. E D U to the C A T. Excellent. What's wrong with this section here? That's your half. One more time. Let's go. E D U to the C A T. And when they say that, you're going to answer them. Let me have it. Hey, E D U to the C A T to the I O N. Say it again. E D U to the C A T to the I O N. Now the say it again side sounds a little stronger than E D U to the C A T to the I O N. So e, when you say say it again, look over to that group so they'll say it again, nice and strong, like you give it to them. Yes. Yeah. You know what? I just had a thought. I'm looking over there. At Watch everybody. They soul. might need to move, you know, like just to maybe put a little bit in their because body. They're a little bit behind the group. They're, they're going the already. Move. The back row has it. Yeah. Let's practice. E you. Come on. Here we go. E D U to the C A T to the I O N. Come on. E D U to the C A T to the I O N. Yeah. Yeah. E D U to the C A T to the I O N. Okay. Cut. Excellent. <laughs> That's your part. When it's your turn, I want you to come in nice and strong. Don't miss a beat. Education 
is key. Here we go. It's time for learning. I can hardly wait. School bell rings at half past seven, and you know I don't want to be late. No, 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 you don't want to be late. I love to learn about places near and far. I love to learn about the planets and the stars. I love to count into infinity. I love this exhaust of studies and world. everybody doing? As young people, we understand that you are often very, very challenged just to get from point A to point B, to come to school, get through the day, get through all of your years of learning. You have a lot of challenges, a lot of influences, some good, some not so good. You are up against a challenged educational system. 
you are up against peer pressure, gangs, smoking cigarettes, alcohol, drugs. The list goes on and on. All of us in our lives are going to be challenged. The thing is, what do we do when we face those challenges? When your friends bring things to you that you know you should not be doing. Repeat after me. I've got self-respect and a whole lot of pride. I won't let you bring me down into a negative stride. Down a dead end street where only trouble lies. That's not the way to keep my eyes on the prize. <laughs> Try to remember that or something similar. Oh, no, 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 I'm talking to you again now. <laughs> You're so good. You're so good. Now, I'm going to teach you an affirmation. And all you have to do, once again, is repeat after me. And I guess this time I should tell you when to stop. I am young and I am positive. I am young and I am positive. I am the future, I'm going to tell it like it is. I am the future, I'm going to tell it like it is. I won't let anything stand in my way. I won't let anything stand in my way. My eyes are on the prize, they will stay that way. My eyes are on the prize and they will stay that way. I am young and I am positive. Young and I am positive. I am the future, I'm going to tell it like it is. I am the future. I'm going to tell it like it is. I won't let anything stand in my way. I won't let anything stand in my way. My yeah. eyes are on the prize. They will stay that way. My eyes are on the prize and they will stay that way. Now, do you have that? That is your part of the next song we're going to do. Whenever we come to this section, we want you to rock it out. Are you ready to do that? You don't sound ready to me. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, we're going to have a little <laughs> rehearsal first. Make sure you have it. I am young and I am positive. I am young and I am positive. Wait, wait, don't clap yet. Don't clap. Let's get the, let's get the song first. <laughs> I am the future. I'm going to tell it like it is. I am the future. I'm going to tell it like it is. I won't let anything stand in my way. I won't let anything stand in my way. My eyes are on the prize, they will stay that way. My eyes are on the prize and they will All stay that way. All together, I am young and I am positive. positive. I am the future. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna tell, tell it like it is. is. I, I won't let anything stand, stand in my way. My, my eyes are on the prize, they will stay that way. I got self-respect and a whole lot of pride. I won't let you pull me down into a negative stride. Down a dead end street where only trouble lies. It's not the way to keep my eyes on the prize. A new yeah. millennium, it's a difficult thing. Yeah. To maintain focus on my visions and dreams yeah. Violence and abuse of drugs yeah. Turn an innocent child into a vicious thug yeah. Take a close look at this society yeah. At the status of the youth and you will see yeah. A sad situation that is out of hand yeah. You are in trouble all over the land Don't yeah. let this state of affairs bring us down yeah. We have to work together, change things around yeah. I start every day by taking the time To remind myself, repeat one more time I am young and I'm positive I am the future. I'm gonna die today. I won't let God so much again. My eyes young and positive. I'll teach you and you teach me. We exchange information on how to be the best we can be, not anything less. It has nothing to do with how we look or dress. It's not material things that make us who we are. Not the stickers, not the jewelry, not the clothes, not the car, not the job, not the money or the status size. Only momentary pleasure, not a valuable prize. Honesty and truth rank high. Help to assist because yeah. I choose to move with love in my heart. Yeah. My sisters and my brothers in every part of yeah. the world. You know, it doesn't make sense to yeah. discriminate or believe in hate. Yeah. Put down another because of their color yeah. or race. I must appreciate all the differences of each nationality. I don't want everybody to be like me. Can you imagine? Everyone exactly the same. Life yeah. would be so boring, I would go insane. Yeah. I love the fact that each person is unique. The yeah. way we look, feel, think, and express our needs. Yeah. Let's move up to a positive.
positive tip. This is racism. It's a negative trip. Another dead end street. Don't even go down there. Accept one another and begin to care. Lift ourselves, enrich our minds. Every day, try to find a little bit of time to say I'm young and I'm positive. I am the future. I won't let God so much to give. My eyes young and positive. I don't diss my elders. They deserve respect. As a matter of fact, I do my best to protect those who came before me who struggled and fought. I would have a chance to listen up and be taught. I turn off the TV. I open up a book. I use my imagination to try to be aware as I look and wonder what the future might be when pollution destroys the land and the sea. Nuclear war, greenhouse effect. More toxic waste than never before. I need all of the adults to live as if you care. Getting tired of living is my nightmare. I need a world of clean air I can breathe. Where I can drink the water and enjoy the trees. Recycle all your plastic, your bottles and glass. Don't leave it up to me to clean up your trash. All the oil spills, all the needless death. Now you want to leave the planet and go somewhere else. To the moon or Mars, you had better beware. You do the same thing when you get up there. And don't forget. When you turn around, yeah. I'll be standing right behind you with a serious frown. Yeah. Every time I hear an older person say, What's wrong with the young folks of today? I want to scream, you know what I mean. Give us yeah. the word to fulfill our dreams. Yeah. When I pick up a paper or turn on the news, I'm yeah. overwhelmed by the negative views. Yeah. I want to hear about the successes of life. Not yeah. just the tragedy, not just the strife. So, yeah. if nothing else, I must encourage myself. Got yeah. a little bit of time to enrich my mind. Thank you very much. Listen, I want you to know that it was young people, your age, high school students, who had this kind of energy, who really were the spark for the civil rights movement. Did you know that? It's true. They sat in at lunch counters, they rode on buses, they demonstrated, they marched, and they brought in the older people who have been planning and wanting to do this thing for a very long time. We're going to sing three songs that came out of the civil rights movement. The first one is saying, I ain't scared of your jails. I don't care what you do to me, I want my freedom. And then, hold on. Hold on, the other two are spirituals that came into the civil rights movement, and maybe you'll recognize them. If you do, feel free to sing along. Are we ready? Yes, we Here are. Here we go. Scared of your jails, cause I want my freedom, and I want my freedom. Well, I want my freedom, and scared of your jails. Want my freedom, well, I want my freedom now. I ain't scared of your guns, cause I want my freedom, and I want my freedom. Well, I want my freedom, I ain't scared of your guns, cause I want my freedom, and I want my freedom now. I'm on my way. 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 Freedom land. I'm on my way. 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 Ain't nothing you can do to turn me around. Ain't nothing you can do to turn me around. 
you so much. I'd like to introduce you to the members of Sweet Honey and the Rock. Our sound engineer is Art Steele. Thank you very much, Art. Our sign language interpreter is Shirley Childress Saxton. Thank you, Shirley. Next to Shirley is Aisha Khalil. Thank Woo! you, Aisha. Louise Robinson. <laughs> Carolyn Mellard. <laughs> Natanju Bolade Cassell. <laughs> I'm Isai Maria Barnwell. <laughs> Thank you very much. Before we end the program, we would like to sing one last song for you. And we would also like to thank all of the student, students in the auditorium for being here with us today. Thank you so much. And we want to thank our viewing audience all across the country who tuned into the program today. Yay. So thank you very much. Let there be peace. How many people would love to see peace in this world? Yes. Young people, you are so important to what happens in the next 10 years. Yes. So stand up. Stand up and be proud and do your thing. Let stand there be peace. Stand for freedom, freedom, till it comes. 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 Stand for freedom. Let there be peace on earth and let it extend to every border, near and far, restore peace again. Let there be peace on earth, let this be the day when all humanity will raise their voices to say, let there be peace. 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 Students can ask questions of the artists after each broadcast by emailing us at kcperfarts at aol.com. Don't forget to visit us online. There you'll find dozens of archived programs from previous seasons that feature artists such as members of the National Symphony Orchestra, Ballet Hispanico, the Billy Taylor Trio, lyricist Stephen Schwartz, cast members from Maine, and many more. Prepare for each program by downloading the study guide. 
Each guide includes background information about the artists, instructional activities, and additional resources to use in the classroom. The Kennedy Center Performing Arts Series, bringing the arts to your classroom.